everybody to come around. You are about to hear the first pro-gay evangelical street preacher as I deliver my first sermon here in Washington, D.C. For 22 years, I was an evangelical right-wing, in-the-closet, anti-gay preacher. But we are here today to declare a fresh word to America. If the Pope of Rome can wear a wedding ring, saying that he is married to the man Jesus Christ. How can same-sex marriage be wrong if even the Pope of Rome is in one? I would like to deliver a message to our beloved and beautiful President. If you, sir, claim to honor the teaching of Jesus, it's time to repeal, don't ask, don't tell. It's time to stand up and proclaim liberty and justice for all. It is time in this fair country that people begin to use the name of Jesus for what it is intended for. God is love. Straight, gay, or bi, He loved us all enough to die. People say that same-sex marriage is an abomination. I've come to preach today that it's cause for celebration. How do I know? I've got the greatest husband in the world. The Bible says I am a spouse to one husband. The prophet Isaiah said our maker will be called our husband. I've come to tell you, if Jesus Christ, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, is not ashamed to be called my husband, the Pope of Rome's husband, nuns and priests' husbands, pray tell me it's time for evangelical right-wing Christianity to repent of homophobia and begin to tell the good news that in Jesus Christ there's neither male nor female, there's neither black or white, but all of humanity is precious in God's sight. Same-sex marriage can't be wrong. I'm married to the crucified, buried, risen, ascended Son of God. And if it's all right for Christians to love the man Jesus, then it's time this nation gives equal rights to all straight, gay, black, white. We're precious in God's sight. That's my opening street sermon. DuPont Circle, Washington, D.C. God is love. You heard it from me. A gay man married to the Son of God. Think about it.